Hello guys, it's the DB Grinder, and we got DUI mm, with 848 rating versus Rico 11 with 908 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So we're going to have DUI when the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and he's going to decide to go first. 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hand is Lord, Bell, Scarlet, TT, Nib. Uh, it's not really that good good it's also really not really that bad i don't know eldish is uh it's definitely one of those decks and then he has angel where art thou orange light zeta emergency so he's playing this i think this card is extremely bad uh there's other cards to play you know, there's a lot of cards that work with drytrons like People were trying out like the field spell, uh, like extra herald stuff, and all that stuff is just not worth it, in my opinion. But he's gonna set TT, pass turn, draws Nova, he's gonna activate emergency, that's gonna add alpha, and then Nova, that's gonna bring out gamma from deck. And then it goes into a Link Karibo, Gamma effect, bring itself out, and bring out the Alpha. Normal Summon Angel effect, that's going to add Ben 10. And then goes into a Nightmare Phoenix, uses that effect, and then Chain TT. Draws Alpha off of that, Alpha effect Engrave. It's going to let that go through, that's going to search an Ultimateness. And then Zeta effect, he's going to chain Bell and he's going to chain Orange Light. So it's going to bring itself out, add the Ritual spell, and then Ben 10 to add Eva. And then goes into a Carrier, Carrier effect, he's going to chain Nib to that. I don't know why everyone like does stuff to Carrier on Summon, like you should just wait until effect most of the time. Like, Nib, everybody does that on Summon, I swear, there's just no point. You just wait till the effect. And then, Activate, getting rid of Alpha, bring out Herald. Pass turn, draws Ram Ram. It's a good draw for sure. He's going to use Lord Effect, send the Herald, chain that. And then, Eva Effect, that's going to banish Orange Light, search for Orange Light. I already went through the other target. And then Banish Scarlet, that's going to set a Conquistador, Lord Effect to bring itself out, Herald Negate, Normal Summon out the Ram, then go for Borbo, Battle Phase, Nib, Tack over Tolkien, get some damage in, then attack directly, Main Phase 2, go for Dryden, Dryden Effect, Pop Herald, then Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar, Zeus, uh, Summon it and attack to help play around Bird. People say like, oh, a bird doesn't come up. You can already play around it. But you either have to Zeus to send the two Drytron monsters on board. Or you can hold it, make them go through battle phase. And then you're not losing that turn. And then you're wiping the board anyways in main phase too. Like the whole board is just going to get wiped. Because they would Zeus you also. But I think it's correct to summon it and attack if like the rest of your board's already gonna be an attack you don't want to play in the bird a little bit because then you have to send anyhow it's gonna set scarlet pass draws droplet and then admits defeat moving on to the next game we are going to see drytron go first opening hand is ghost spell strike whiptail scarlet cursed oh my gosh this hand is incredible and then he has Field Spell, Ultimateness, Ben 10, Emergency Alpha, and his hand's good too. Uh, has no way to beat Droll. I always see that. Like with Drytron players, I think most of them are just losing the Droll. Because they don't really have outs. They have like four outs. That's not a lot. So Droll is still very good versus Drytron. Very good. He's going to add Zeta. And then Alpha Effect, bring itself out, and that's going to let him search for Ben 10. And then Zeta Effect, bring itself out, and that's going to search for the Ritual Spell. And then Ben 10 Effect, add Orange Light. And then goes into a Carrier, Carrier Effect, that's going to equip Dawn Knight. And then Ritual Spell, 
bring out Ben 10 and Don Knight, send Delta. It's going to use Delta effect, Chain Ghost Bell, Ben 10 effect, add Eva, activate, and that's going to search for Nova. And then Nova, bring out Gamma, add back the Ritual spell, make Link Karibo. Oh, Gamma. Alright, I don't know why. For a second I thought he was using the Ritual spell effect there again. I was like, oh, what? Like, it's, it's in hand. Uh, but Gamma, bring itself out, bring out Delta, Ben 10 effect, add Maju. And then Ritual spell, bring out Herald. Normal summon Maju effect, grab Natasha, makes an IP, pass turn, uh, draws cycle reader, really needed that last turn, really needed that last turn. It's going to set two cards, end the main phase, activate IP, that's going to go into unicorn, unicorn effect, discard Eva, and then he's going to admit defeat. So now moving on into game number three. We're going to see Elder Zoo go first. Opening hand is Bell, Cursed, Order, Strike, Called By. Uh, a Zoo in this hand would have been crazy. But the hand still isn't bad. It's just kind of slow. Which, I mean, you'll get with Eldlish very often. And then he has Orange Light, Ben 10, Ritual Spell, Foolish, Zeta. Kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, it definitely works, but like you hate seeing Ritual Spell with Zeta. It happens all the time, too, I swear. It's going to activate Cursed. Like, this is the same odds as opening a Garnet plus Brilliant Fusion, which just like never happened. But then Zeta plus Ritual Spell, that's like every game. It's going to activate Cursed, pay it, feel great, add Wakero. And then set four pass draws Natasha. It's gonna activate Foolish. Let's it go through. Send Delta. Delta effect. Bring itself out. Reveal. Get a free draw. So he's not like hitting it with called by. He's not using order. It is an interesting way to play it. Draws Alpha. Ben 10 effect. Chain called by. I hate it when people, like, they'll go Delta Effect, Tribute Ben 10 for cost, and then people are like, oh, Chain Called By. Why? That makes no sense, because then they're just gonna... Like, if they were to summon Alpha, Tributing Ben 10, then the search of Alpha could change, just because you wanted to use something early when you could have just waited half a second. But he's gonna Alpha Effect, bring itself out, search for Ben 10, Overlay for Assembled... And then battle phase, attack, attack, take 800, and then go on the downward, then go on the Zeus. Activate the ritual spell, chain order. It's going to let it go through. End phase, activate Wakero, draw judgment for turn. Take 700 off the order, and then goes in the link spider, set judgment. End phase, Wakero, set scarlet. Pass turn, draw orange light, order take seven, and then he's going to Zeus effect to wipe the board, chain solemn strike, alpha effect, tribute Zeta, bring itself out, and then that's going to search for Ben 10, add back the ritual spell by targeting alpha, delta, bring itself out, reveal, get a free draw, draws prep, and then Ben 10 to add Maju, gonna normal summon the mod you use that effect that was search for ultimateness goes in the nightmare phoenix uses that effect he's gonna judgment the summon actually fair enough he's thinking here he's gonna use zeta effect bring itself out and then goes for a union carrier uses that effect on itself equip dawn knight Battle phase, beat over for a 1,000. Oh, he's only going to be at 750. And then 50 on his turn. Scarlet to end phase, bring out Lord. Wow, this is a really close game. Draw strike. Oh, that's dead. Cursed is dead. Order's dead. Strike is dead. 
He's gonna beat over and then he's gonna get Dawn Knight effect. That's gonna send Gamma. Scarlet, Setwalk Hero. And then pass turn, draws Angel. Order dies off. Gamma effect, Chain Bell. And then, oh, I accidentally clicked fast forward, but he's gonna use Gamma effect, Chain Bell, Chain Orange Light, Chain Walk Hero, banish the Gamma out of Grave. And then he's gonna get his Ben 10 search. And then just pass his turn, draws Conquistador. Said this is rough. It's going to go into a Nightmare Phoenix, Lord Effect, bring itself out. And then Battle Phase, attack, and then attack. Main Phase 2, set 2. End phase, Wakero, set Scarlet. And then pass play. It's going to draw Ash Blossom. Set Eva, pass turn. He's going to Ash the Scarlet. Draw Cycle Reader. I mean, it's definitely just game here. It's going to Lord Attack, Eva Search, add Orange Light, Poke, Flip, game. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, this is like, it's so, even though Drytron last, like, lost that game, I think, like, this shows off the power of Drytron way more than it shows off the power of Eldlish. Because, he was opening, like, you know, pretty good hands for Eldlish. I mean, you, you know, you're not gonna open Curse plus a Zoo every game, other than this deck would actually be good, but... Like, the Drytron player was, like, playing through a lot of it. There's also some questionable plays on this side. But that was a pretty good game. Let's see how long it was. It was only 37 minutes long. Not bad. I feel like Eldish is just so horrible and always has been so horrible. And, like... There's reasonings behind why it's horrible. Like, I, I could give them off, like, right now. Like, if you're drawing, like, one Conquistador in your opening hand, this card is not an interruption. If you're drawing one Scarlet, not an interruption. One Curse, like, not one single Eldritch card is an interruption. And they're all, like, they require you to have, like, multiple pieces. They just float forever. Like, that's why people like it. But it's really not that good, like, at all. I actually think the Eldritch cards are, like, extremely bad. Extremely bad. And they set you up to get OTK'd because, like, you have to, like, Scarlet plus Conquistador to interrupt something. And then now you just put a whole bunch of monsters on board for Natasha to go Burr. And, like, it's really easy to beat Eldritch. Like, extremely easy. I think, like, Virtual World players just smack this deck enough. Like, Virtual World players, like, destroy most of, like, the rogue decks that Drytron can't beat. Which is really good for Drytron, because that means, like, there'll be less rogue in a tournament. But maybe for, like, the next tournament, Virtual World could be correct if there's a lot of people on rogue still. Also, like, if everyone's prepared for Drytron, like, really hard with, like, cycle readers and drolls. Then that makes Virtual World kind of better. But, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting next LCS. It's still not happening for a couple weeks. But, I wonder, I wonder what's going to win. Because Drytron is very good. Virtual World is also very good. It's, it's obviously going to be one of those decks. I mean, highly, highly, highly doubt that the team that wins has an Eldritch player on the team. Eldritch probably won't even make it to the finals. Maybe not even top four. I guess it depends who's playing it. Because, like, you know, we've seen Paulo take this deck to top cut multiple times. So if he plays the deck again, like, he's pretty good with it. But majority of the people at this deck are just extremely free. <clears throat> but that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.